What's up everybody, I'm Paul from Hayward's Jewelry and in this video I'm going to be talking about real versus fake gemstones because it's something a lot of people want to know about whether it's customers, the general public or even people within the jewelry trade. They want to know whether they're diamond or their ruby, sapphire, whatever it is, they want to know if it's real or fake. And if you do a search on YouTube or you do a search on Google you'll get lots of results telling you how to tell the difference between real and fake gemstones. But what if I told you that most of these were actually wrong? And I know you're thinking, well, Paul, how is that the case? The reason is because it comes down to one simple thing, whether a gemstone or a diamond is real or fake. And that is how it has been sold. It's not down to the actual stone itself, it's just down to how it's been sold. Let's take a cubic zirconia, for example, because this is one of the most common fake diamonds. And the reason why I used inverted commas on that one is because it does come down to how it's sold. If a cubic zirconia is being sold as a diamond, then it is a fake diamond because it's not a genuine diamond. But if that cubic zirconia is being sold as a cubic zirconia, then it's not a fake diamond because it's been sold as what it is, which is a CZ, a cubic zirconia. And this applies to every single gemstone that's out there. I'll give you another example, a synthetic ruby. So the only way this could be sold as a fake ruby is if it's been sold to you as a ruby and they're not using the pretext of it being synthetic or being lab created or in any way shape or form telling you that that is a man-made stone. Because if it's just listed as a ruby it is implied that it is a natural stone and this is something that applies to every single gemstone. If it is just listed by its name, so whether it's ruby, sapphire or emerald, it is implied that it is a natural stone. And if nowhere where you're buying the stone, so maybe you're buying it in a shop or maybe you're buying it online, if they do not tell you that that is a synthetic or or a lab created ruby then it is a fake ruby because they've sold it to you as a natural stone but if they tell you that that is a synthetic ruby then it has been sold properly and it is not a fake stone because it is a real synthetic ruby and this is because in gemology there's no such thing as a fake gemstone everything is what it's meant to be. So a CZ is a cubic zirconia, it's a gemstone within its own right. And the same goes for synthetic stones as well. They are gemstones within their own right. They're just man-made versions of their natural counterparts. So in gemology, there's no such thing as a fake gemstone. There's just stones that are synthetics and there are stones that are imitations of other gemstones as well. But it all comes down to how the stone has been sold as to whether it is a real or a fake. It's not like something like a Rolex for example, because you can get fake Rolexes. In fact, they're more prominent than real Rolexes. But the reason why they're fake Rolexes is because they have been made to be a Rolex and they've been made to be passed off as Rolex because they've got Rolex branding all over them. They've been designed to rip people off into thinking that they are the genuine article. You don't get this with gemstones. All it comes down to is how they are being sold. If they're being sold properly, then it's not a fake gemstone. It's only if it's been sold incorrectly that a stone can be classified as fake. So that is the difference between a real and a fake gemstone. It's all down to how it has been sold. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you found this video interesting and also helpful as well. If you have, please drop a like on the video because it does help me out with the almighty YouTube algorithm. Also, if you'd like to hit that subscribe button as well, that'd be massively appreciated. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome and I'll see you in the next one.